My name is Sean Donnell. I'm from Waterfield, County Kerry. And my mother is Debbie. She is 58 years of age and she has early onset Alzheimer's disease. I think at the start I was very impatient with mum. Her mobile phone you saw was go off in her pocket and it'd ring us. We started showing her how to lock it. No way could she comprehend it at all whatsoever. And, and this was before diagnosis and we were kind of going, it's two buttons you have to press, you know? And you feel fierce guilty after those things, after, for, like you'd be kind of getting angry at them, you know, saying, why can't you do that? And it's, you know, now looking back at them, you'd say, God, I remember one day we were going back to the beach and it was a real foggy day. I had to ring my girlfriend saying, I don't know where I am. And that really gave me an awful fright. Imagine spending your whole day like that. Say a few years ago when she was able to speak, had the chats and she'd answer me back and there would be proper chats, you know, They'd be, they wouldn't be just chatting about the weather, we'd talk. Even now, like, there's something on my mind, I'll go in and I'll yeah, say it straight out to her and you see the eye go up or she'll give a smile. I'm just going to the kitchen, I'll be back in two minutes, okay? Okay, okay, kiss. Mm -hmm. When we were young, she'd say, good night, God bless, I love you. And we never, like, boys don't say that correct, you know? So after diagnosis, I just, I started saying to her. I tell her I love her and that, that she's an inspiration, which she is. Me now and me 10 years ago would be two totally different people altogether. Previously, I worked as a block layer. I went to college, I got a, a degree in applied social studies in social care purely because of her. I told her that I passed. There was a smile there and I know inside she was doing cartwheels and everything, but outwards she couldn't express it like. This is something I want to do for the rest of my life. Blow. I accepted it a long time before my father did. And I suppose it was easier for me to because that's, that's his life partner, it's his wife. To see that being taken away, it, it must be very hard. And he denied it for an awful long time, I know that. In the last few years, he's really come on board like, He's the main man now, you know. <laughs> you know, and what he says goes, kind of, and he's, he's a great carer now. Two or three months ago, she used to give it a kiss. That's gone now. And before, she just showed the hand one time, but that's gone now as well. You don't notice the day-to-day -day thing. It's only when it's spread out and looking back over it. When there was Irish music playing, about, she'd get up and she'd start dancing and she wouldn't care who was watching. And she'd pull you up to go dancing. And I remember I'd be going, God, just stop, you leave me alone. If she could dance now, I'd dance on TV with her, you know? I've never ever in my life seen anybody as brave and courageous as her. She's just unbelievable. They broke the mold after making her, you know? She's unbelievable.